everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Yakima Exosystem with our top shelf, our swing base and our different exo accessories here on our 2013 Ford van. With our van set up right over here, this is a great example of the exo system in action. You can see how we already have canoes up here. We have a solar panel on our roof, so that's fully loaded. Now we just need to maximize our hitch. So with the exo system, we can carry both our bikes and skis and snowboards, but you can also use different accessories like your cargo carriers or your cargo baskets in order to maximize your hitch, carry more things, and fully use your van for your adventures. So what I have currently installed on our EXO system is our EXO double up bike rack. So it's a two bike rack and we also have our snowbank ski and snowboard carrier. So this isn't really a kit or something you would usually use together but does show the versatility of the system which is why I have them on here right now. So we'll take a look at the different features of the top shelf and the swing base because those are the main parts of our EXO system and see how it works with your Ford van. A main feature of this system is that it swings away. To do so, you're going to rotate this handle and this is what's holding your swing base in place. So once you have that fully rotated right over there, you're then going to pull the lever on the side, hold on to it by this edge as you swing it out a full 90 degrees and it catches right over there on the end. You'll want to swing this away if you want to open the doors of your van. So as you can see, we can mostly open this right door, but fully open this left door, giving you full access to the back of your vehicle. It stops right over there. So that way you can get into your trunk, grab whatever you need, maybe hang out over here without having to take your bikes or your system off. We'll close this right there, but I do want to take a look at some measurements. So the closest point is going to be where this knob sticks up. So you are going to have a clearance of about three and three quarter inches from the bottom of the door to that knob. And from the bottom of the door to the swing base system itself, you're going to have six and a half inches of clearance. So when you want to take your bikes off, this is the perfect position to take this back bike off. But what if you want to access whatever's on your swing base? You can also swing the top shelf away. To do so, you just unlock it and then undo the bolt or the pin that's holding that in place and then swing the entire top shelf around just like that. Once you have it fully swung out, don't forget to pop this hitch pin back into place and to thread the bolt together. That way it doesn't swing back around when you don't want it to. So let's talk about how this fits here on our van. So our bike has 26 inch large tires. So that's gonna be the size of the wheel. And you can see here how we just have enough space with our door. If it was any larger, it probably would have been touching the door right over here. So that's pretty cool to see when it comes to the fit on our bike rack. So something special about our Ford van, especially when you have your exosystem in this position, is it's great for if you want to access whatever's on your swing base. If you have the gear locker, this is the way to get your cargo out. But with our bike rack on top, if you do have larger than 26 inch wheels, like what we have here, which is kind of on the smaller side anyways, you will have limited clearance on this side. The solution for that is just to put your larger bike on that side. Another thing about this is you cannot open your doors in this position. So again, it's really, you just swing it out in order to access whatever's down here. Then you go ahead and swing it back in. Now it's perfectly fine to have your swing base swung out in this position, although I do recommend having your top shelf out or like kind of in the stored position if you do have this swung out, but just make sure that you do use the jack that comes with your top shelf kit because you want to make sure it's supported while it's out there. But when you're done, you're ready to go, you're ready to bring this back in. All you need to do is pull up on this lever in the corner, pull that up and then just start swinging your entire system back towards your van. So clearance issues when it comes to having this swung back in. So when you have to use that knob to tighten and loosen your swing base, make sure it's fully tightened before you drive off. 
you have about two inches of clearance between your knob and your bumper. Perfectly fine, but again, it's a tight fit. Also, depending on what you do have on your top shelf, this can be a tight fit too. Just try not to hit your head against your bike or your cargo box as you do this loosening or this tightening action with this knob. So now we have it swung back, it's tightened down, and this is basically what I call the ready and ride position. This is how you're gonna have it as you go down the road. So we'll talk about weight capacities, we'll talk about dimensions, but again, a lot of these will differ depending on what kind of accessories you have. So I'll mainly talk about our top shelf and our swing base. So let's take a look at those. So this is our top shelf and we have a few interesting design features here. Now depending on your vehicle you can move these arms further out if you need clearance in the back. If let's say you have a bike that has longer handlebars you need that clearance you can do so. Here on our van that's definitely not going to be an issue just because of where it sits on our vehicle. Even with our handlebars we still have plenty of clearance right over there. Let's take a look at how close it gets to the van though. So measuring from the closest point, which is going to be this knob right over here to the back of our door, we are going to have about six inches of clearance from the two. So that's a lot of clearance, which is gonna be perfectly fine. Of course, you can't open your door in this position though. Now let's talk about the swing base. So when you do have this on your vehicle, there's gonna be some length added to the back of it, especially if you have the top shelf arms move forward but in our case the swing base is kind of the furthest point so measuring from our bumper to the end of the swing base which is by these knobs is going to be 31 inches your longest accessory is going to be this snowbank and that's going to be a length added of 39 inches just a measurement to keep in mind whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot now ground clearance is going to be from the bottom of our swing base to the ground so right over here from the arms, it's going to be 17 and a half inches of ground clearance. And right where it is at the hitch, you're gonna have a ground clearance of 13 inches from the bottom of the swing base to the ground. So whenever you're going up steep inclines like driveways or hills, that's usually where ground clearance is a factor. This is a still a pretty decent clearance though. Now, of course, a main feature of, a, of the Yakima Exosystem is the ability to switch out your accessories since it is a modular system. Now, if you do have the top shelf and you want the bike rack, that's got to stay on top just because you can't have enough clearance over here. But you can switch out the bottom with other accessories. And I'll show you how to do that. We have our speed knobs right over here. Make sure that they are unlocked. And then you press this tab and then you start rotating this. So you're gonna rotate it all the way until it tightens back up again, and that will allow you to lift your accessory up. So we have the snowbank ski and snowboard carrier, and once those cleats are released, you just lift that up, grab your other accessory, and pop that back in. So we'll put these back in. These just slide into those arms. They're lined up, and then you just lock them again by rotating those speed dots until they're tightened down. Then you press those tabs, lock it, and then you're good to go. Just like that, you can see how fast it is, how versatile it is to use the EXO system on your Ford van, how you can switch this with different accessories. A great pairing is if you have the double up on top, and let's say you have the gear locker, which is your enclosed cargo carrier. You can have two enclosed cargo carriers, you can have two um, cargo baskets. It's really up to you. So please check out our product pages here at eTrailer because those are gonna give you the exact dimensions and the exact weight capacities because those differ depending like if you have the bike rack on the top shelf, you have a 40 pound per bike weight capacity. But if you have this on the swing base alone, you then have a 50 pound weight capacity per bike. So things like that are very important and you can definitely find out more information here at eTrailer.com. So my personal thoughts about the Yakima Exo system here on our express van is I think it's a great fit. You can definitely see how this allows you to fully utilize your hitch as well as your roof. So if you already have a roof rack and you have that fully loaded already, this allows you to carry even more. If you don't have a roof rack or you are not able to get up onto your roof, this is also a great way to be able to carry the cargo, the gear, as well as let's say the bikes you need for your adventure. So all the measurements look really, really good. We have really good clearance. Just keep in mind if you do have bikes, 
likes what I said about the tire size. But other than that, awesome system for your Ford van. And that was a look here at our Yakima Exo system with the top shelf, the swing base, the double up bike rack, and our snowbank ski and snowboard carrier right here on our 2013 Ford van.